I was traipsing around the woods. You can hear the hospital right next to me, and I uh, found the first eastern box turtle of the year. Handsome little guy. Maybe a girl, I don't know. Not one I haven't seen in a while. But uh, right there, it's a little Gulf Coast toad and a burrow. I'll get a photo of him, and uh, we'll keep going. Wow, today must be the day for box turtles, because I just stumbled upon these two doing the, uh, doing the dirty out here. Right there. <laughs> Well, I'm gonna take a few photographs of them. I'm not gonna really disturb them that much. Oh, it's a nice find though. I think this is my second time ever finding box turtles like this in the uh, in the wild. But uh, today's the day for turtles, I guess. See y'all guys in a bit. Turp of the day, this little baby slimy salamander here. First slimy salamander I've seen in a hot second, but I haven't really been out in their area. I'm gonna get a few pictures of this guy uh, and put his uh, bark back. All right guys, we just flipped this uh, giant millipede, frankly. It's quite beautiful. I'm gonna leave this guy alone because they have a tendency to, you know, spray acid on you. But, uh, he's pretty cool. Got some good photos. Uh, see y'all if we find anything else. Next slimy of the day. Actually, I did see a bigger one that went down a hole, but, uh, salamanders are out, I guess. So, I mean, I looked down and, uh, found another slimy. This is the third, I think, slimy salamander I've caught. Saw two big ones. Both of them got away. Um, but I'm nothing if I'm not persistent. So we're gonna keep at it. And I'll see y'all in the next uh, clip, maybe. Just saw the first snake of the day. It was a little cottonmouth who got away before I could photograph him or even pull out the camera. But, uh, the snakes are out. So let's hope that we can find another one. Another snake of some kind. Maybe another cottonmouth. And photograph him. Maybe even get him on film for you guys, too. Our next herp is a little green frog here. Haven't seen any other snakes since that cottonmouth, but... Green frog, so uh, herps are out. Maybe we will find something. I'll check back in. And sky is still a healthy shade of black and it is now opened up and it's pouring out on us. But on closer inspection of the pond, I found this guy just kind of floating around. I think he's a red eared slider. Never know. I'm gonna take a picture or two and then put him back. Wow. It's the most water I've ever seen in this thing. Kind of crazy. All right. I'll see you guys in the next one. Uh, like, subscribe, and I'll see you soon. All right, guys, I know I said that that last clip was gonna be the last of the video, but uh, we stumbled upon something else since our last check-in. Just got home, was walking around. One of my neighbors called me over to check out something, um, and I found this little guy in the ditch on the way there. And uh, he's pretty cute. You may or may not be able to tell it's starting to rain again. So I think I got enough pictures of this guy. Might try to get one in a more natural looking setting. But uh, after that, I'm gonna let him go. Uh, he's cute though. I do like him. I almost thought he was a common bandit at first, but uh, he's got uh, little specks in between his bands, which is one of my ways of telling him and the common bandits apart. It could definitely be an integrated between the two subspecies because the way his bands look. They're frequent, but they're broken enough to where I would consider that a broad banded. So we're going to take a few more pictures and then let this guy go. And I'll see you all in the next one. Stay tuned and like and subscribe.